Hey guys, welcome back to Makeup with Destiny. I know it has been a little while since I have been able to film just because of the Christmas season and it's been all crazy, but I am back and I am ready to film another testing video. And I wanted to test the Becca BFFs collection, which looks like it's made by Khloe Kardashian and Malika Hawk. This packaging is super cool <laughs> as they are magnetic. So they do pull apart and one is gold and one is silver. It looks like the Khloe Kardashian side is the gold side and then the Malika Hawk uh, side is the silver side. And then it looks like they also collaborated together. So half of it is gold and then half of it is silver and then they did one together that is half gold, half silver and which is the highlighter that they have. So in the packaging, we'll just open one up. You get this guy, which I believe is a, I think there's a highlighter a blush, a bronzer. Oh, there's two blushes, a bronzer and a highlighter on the Chloe side. And then this is what the, there's also two lipsticks. And then this is what it looks like they collaborated on. That's the half and half side. And then in the silver side, It just simply has two blushes, a highlighter, and then a bronzer. And so we're gonna test these out and I'm thinking I'm going to do half of my face with the Chloe side and then half of my face with the Malika side. And so let's get started on testing these guys out. Right, so let's get started. I think I'm going to get started with the Chloe gold side. It just happened to be on the left and it was chosen by random. But here is what the little palette that she has. And so it looks like this is Glow Up, which is the highlighter. This one is Fierce which is the blush with a warm peach that adds a flush of color and a pop of glow. And then Fabulosity, which is a cool pink that adds a flush of color and a pop of glow. And then this is the bronzer in Cocoa Bronze. And that one's a neutral medium tan with a smooth satin matte finish. So let's dig into these and like I said, we're just gonna do half of my face, so I'm just gonna do this half with. Uh, so we're gonna start with the bronzer, and we're just gonna dip in. Kind of a lot of fallout, do you guys see that? And just going to lightly put this on. And it does come with a mirror, which is pretty nice. This is actually turning out very nice on my skin. As you guys can see, it is matte. And it does come out really beautiful. All right, and there is the bronzer. So let's move on to the blush. Okay, we'll dig into Fierce. Is that what it's called? Yeah. So we're gonna dig into Fierce so that I can get that warm peach tone that they were talking about. So 
So I like this one, but it does give more of a highlighty feel. So if you don't want to be like glowing, then this would not be for you because it is super highlighty, but it also has the pink tones. In my opinion, I really like it. I think it's coming out very, very pretty. And then we'll just swatch the other one real quick. And the other one was Fabulosity. That one comes out really pretty. And this one also comes out more highlighter-ish. All right, and then we'll move on to the highlighter in Glow Up. All right. Oh my goodness. This came out crazy pretty. I really like this one. And with it being mixed in with the uh, blush that I just put on, it goes very well together. All right, and then we'll move on to the Malika side, which is the silver side. All right, so the Malika side looks just like this. And here's the inside. So it looks like we have a highlighter called Dusted, and that's this one. Yes Girl, which is a warm, vibrant coral blush. And then Make Me Blush, which is a golden rose blush. And then we have the bronzer in Bestie Bronze. And that's a warm tan with a smooth satin matte finish. So they are both uh, satin matte finishes, which I really like personally. All right. So we're gonna go in on the other side of my face. So this one is much darker than the other one. The Malika side is definitely darker than the Khloe Kardashian side. But it's really, it feels really good on the skin. It's not heavy or anything, but it just comes off darker. I feel like the Khloe one is something that you would have to build up more versus this one where I just did a few swipes and I got my bronzer completely on. And we'll move on. I do wanna dip into Yes Girl because I think this one is so pretty and I like the coral. So. This one is definitely pinker and not as highlighter-like as the other one was. This is just definitely a very subtle look and this one is going to be more of a going out look for an event or something similar to that where you would want your makeup a lot harsher. And then we will go into Dusted, which is right here. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this one would definitely give you a harsher look if that was something you wanted because look at this highlight. Like that's crazy. And then I will also swatch the Make Me Blush, which is equally as beautiful. This one actually is really gorgeous. And next, it looks like I got four lipsticks through this box. And so we'll test out half on one side and then half on the other side, and then I will swatch the other ones. For the lipsticks on the Chloe side, I got 
Cupid's Kiss. And in the little pamphlet they gave me, Cupid's Kiss is a neutral. And then Hot Tamale is a spicy red with warm undertones. So I'm gonna go in with neutral on this side because I feel like it's a more subtle look. And then I'm going to go in with the more red color on the Malika side, which we'll talk about in just a second. So let's put on Cupid's Kiss. All right, and this is how Cupid's Kiss came out. It's a really nice, toasty, neutral color. It is very subtle, but I do like the brown in it. Then we'll swatch the other one, which was Hot Tamale. That is a really gorgeous red. And they're really creamy and comfortable on the lips and it seems like they'd be more long lasting, but they do transfer over. Next, we are going to go in with one of the Malika colors. You have yours truly, which is this nude color, and then New Brave, which is a glamorous true red with cool undertones. So this one seems to be the darker red versus Chloe's, which is a brighter red. So let's test that one out. And here is the half that has the bright red, and we'll swatch. Yours truly. And that one's really, a really nice neutral color. Overall, I really, really enjoyed these. They work really well and they're really pigmented. Yes, one is more subtle, but it can be built up if you want a harsher look like this side. I liked both of them very equally. Um, and so we're just gonna test out the last one, which is the collaboration mixed together. And it looks like this. So the difference between these and the other uh, palettes I just test out and the lipsticks is that all of these feel like really expensive and really nice, but then I kind of don't like the feeling of this packaging just because it's kind of like it's just paper. And you open it and it's kind of, it seems more cheap made than the other ones were. There is a little sponge inside of it and it looks like this. And as you can tell, it is made out of like cardboard. Oops. I just dropped one. <laughs> okay, maybe let's do it on the back of my hand. Okay, dipping into it with a brush, I didn't get anything. Huh, maybe if I use my finger. So that's what I got out of it. I definitely like the other stuff, but I don't really, I'm not really feeling this baked highlighter. I don't know, it seems like it's more difficult to put on than anything. So that's my opinion on that. Let me know what you guys thought down below in the comments section. But I really did love this, these palettes that I got. I definitely liked both the Chloe and Malika equally. Just one was more pigmented, like I said, than the other. And all the lipsticks came out great. I really enjoyed the formula they used. I feel like this could be a long lasting wear. And it's something that is definitely practical and could be used on a day to day basis. 
All right, guys, so that is it for this video. If you guys enjoyed something like this, go ahead and subscribe and like this video. If you have any suggestions, I am open to any suggestions you guys have, so leave that down in the comments, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.